guys, what up with the mixture of gases? We've seen only pure substances, but we've also seen a little bit on mixtures. And let me introduce you this very fast concept of mixturing gases. We're going to be using uh, the K rule. And we will need essentially the composition of the gas, of course, because if you don't know it, well, you don't know then what type of mixture do you have. We're going to need the critical temperature of each substance critical pressure of each substance and the real temperature or pressure of the gas. This is typical for chapter number 12 on the book, but I'm going to present it to you because it's very common that because it's so easy, they introduce it to you very fast and I don't want you to get uh, disadvantage because you don't know how to treat a mixture of real gases. So we're going to be analyzing the K rule which essentially says that we can calculate a pseudo-critical temperature, pseudo-critical pressure, pseudo-reduced temperature, and pseudo-reduced pressure. Pseudo means from artificial or quasi or almost the temperature or pressure of that gas. Of course, we're talking about an approximation. This is not the exact value, but it really, really works, at least for engineering purposes, it really, really works. So how do we calculate that? Well, essentially, if you've got A, B, and C mixed, you have them in a mixture here, and you know the composition, let's say J of A, Y of B, and Y of C. Well, of course, you may do this, let's say, like average of the critical temperature. And yes, we are going to do it in fact. Critical temperature of each of the substances times the y value or the let's say the concentration now let's do the same for pressure and you're done guys actually it's that simple now you got the pseudo critical temperature what do you do with the critical temperature you use pseudo reduced temperature you got this one calculated and this value actually is the real value you don't need to change that at all this once again is the calculated this is the real value. So let me do an exercise in the next video so it gets more clear the subject or the topic on mixture of real gases. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.